right left hander. He misses it again. We got a car around over here, the 33, exiting turn seven. Off the center gets spun out. Player Daniel Suarez. Kevin Harvick. Oh, back in the back. We got cars spun around. Stenhouse is around. Looks like the 10 car of Eric Amarola as well. Clear. Looking through the middle. A lot of three wide, four wide, back in the back, five wide. Oh, contact, the 31 going around. Already, around goes at 31. This is poor contact with Spence Chastain around. He's got it under control, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere. The car just goes around. The further. No one's made three wide yet, your corner. This is crazy. Oh, it's still attacking him. Once you lose momentum, man, it's like oh, a big crash right. behind us. The four of Harvick once again around. The four of the 48. Alex Bowman back. Reddick has to go down the block. Better restart that time for Reddick, though. He's got a car length on second. issue on the five ball field. Look at that. He is flying when he comes in there. So I heard him say, wow. I have a pedal, which looking back now, maybe he didn't have brakes and now he does have brakes. That's, that's the one thing that seems to make sense. So right now you've got Hamlin in the 11, Briscoe in the 14, and William Byron gets by Kyle Larson in the 24. He'll take third, and they're bumping and banging and grinding, and one car's around. Coming out of turn number six, he'll spin it to the inside. That is Martin Truex Jr. who gets fun at the Benedetto. He wants third, but he's got to get around A.J. Allmendinger to do it. Bubba Wallace off course. One of the cars spinning, leading turn six. Four contact on the straightaway, and there's more calamity on the back straightaway. Cars everywhere on the back straightaway. And turn six. All of that contact between the two leaders is allowed. Watch it. Well, the 24 is spinning. The 24 is out. There's like multiple cars into the wall here. There must be oil or some kind of fluid down. Track right there in turn. We got car, more cars coming in. William Byron is reporting that the curve came up. He hit the curve in the 24. Good angle to see how the rest of the field. Look at the 22 destroyed his car over the curve. Yeah, the rest of these guys get piled in here. Oh, more cars get destroyed. Going a great restart for Denny Hamlin. Here he comes into turn one. Chase Briscoe's going to give him a run for the money. Here's Briscoe to the outside, but he's going to be offline. No, again. Oh, Briscoe's in the grass. Now it's a battle for the lead with Hamlin and Allmendinger. Briscoe will come back onto the grass, and now he will be side by side with Denny Hamlin. Oh, stop and go for the 14 car. He is not racing for the win. Oh, he's going to spin Denny. Denny is spun out. The 14 car spun Denny Hamlin out into turn 10. Nigger will cross the yard of bricks, the winner of the first ever road course race for the Cup Series. Let's go! Side by side up front, though. Chastain, he's right there. They're going side by side to the king. And around goes the one. He's able to get by the end. Unbelievable. Sideways, though. That's going to allow Reddick to get around. He lost momentum on corner exit. A lot of dirt. The road of Chastain went off the track. Right he did that access road to get back on track. Now, the aid of Tyler Reddick continues to fight him. Is this legal for the one to be up here racing right now? Can he get through? 13. For the final time, he does. Oh, he almost missed the corner. Here comes the one of Ross Chastain one more time. Out of 14, Tyler Reddick looking for his second Cup Series win. It's going to come in Indianapolis. All right. Great job, guys. Way to execute all day long. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course for the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard for the NASCAR Cup Series. Tyler Reddick and Austin Sindrick start on the front row as we get ready to get underway here at Indy for the 24th. 
fourth race of this NASCAR Cup Series season. After this, only two races left until the playoffs begin as we are green and underway for the Indianapolis Road Course. Austin Cindric already with a huge jump down the front stretch gets clear of the 45 of Tyler Reddick as the field comes sailing down into this turn one which has been the cause of so much chaos in previous Indy Road Course races in real life as we know. And Joy Logano, Harrison Burton are three out of Reddick for second place right now. Todd Gillen right behind in sixth. Yeah, Wallace, Almendinger, Busher, Priest, and McDowell. The rest of the top tens. You see everyone making their way down into turn one here. You got McDowell racing Priest. Three wide back there. You got Stenhouse, Chase Elliott. Bowing out for this back here. Oh, the trouble. Blaney gets spun around. Blaney gets turned by the 19 of Truex, but he gets back going in the right direction, avoiding any major stack up, but he does lose a couple of spots on the racetrack. Of course, you see the 12 lane gets turned there by Martin Truex. Everyone scatters trying to avoid running into the back of the 12 machine, and they do so successfully as the field down and rounds their way through. Here you got Bowman back here racing Brody Kasecki and Kevin Harvick at the back of this field. Everyone as they try to work their way forwards uh, after a rough qualifying effort. You got Jensen Button up here battling these guys as well. <laughs> Three wides squeeze there through that turn four area where of course in the past we had that deadly curb that caused so much destruction but it's better now as meanwhile back at the front of the field there's Austin Sindrick leading his teammate of Joy Logano and his Alliance team of Harrison Burton is a Penske Wood Brothers uh, team 1-2-3 run right now here at the Indianapolis Road Course as Austin Sindrick looks to lead this opening lap of racing comfortably as he works his way through the final couple of corners of this racetrack in P1 right now seems pretty comfortable in the race lead as he makes his way through the final corner to head down the long straightaway about to cross the yard of bricks Austin Sindrick will lead the opening lap of racing here at the Indianapolis Road Course followed by Joy Logano, Harrison Burton, Tyler Reck, Todd Gilland, AJ Allmendinger Ryan Priest, Bob Wallace, Denny Hamlin, Mike McDowell side by side four position got Chase Elliott, Eric Jones duking it out here so everyone seems to be uh, minding their P's and Q's and doing it just mighty fine at the start of this race. See at the back there, Kyle Larson, Eric Allen Roller, really struggling on paces. Once again, the field makes some aggressive moves, trying to turn one. That is a 67 of Kamui Kobayashi making some moves, trying to get around his Toyota teammate of Ty Gibbs in 54. As he makes the move, he passes Ty Gibbs and Eric Jones. There, oh, Eric Jones is off in the dirt. He gets back on the course, but he's going to lose some spots. Truex goes a little wide there, racing three wide with Ryan Blaney and Corey LaJoy for position. Truex now gets passed by both of them. He falls back in line. He's got pressure from the 78 of Balicki, who's trying to make the move in the 42 there. That is Mike Rockefeller trying to make the move behind them. He got SVG, but still everyone is chasing the two car of Austin Sindrick, who has a comfortable lead over his teammate of Joey Logano. Sindrick looking to go back to back. Of course, won our most recent race at Michigan to punch his ticket in the Cup Series playoffs. When he was in a must -win situation, he got it done, made it happen. He's in and makes it so Austin Dillon and Chris Buescher are fighting for that last transfer spot right now. The two winners on points as they are close to each other, but it's Cindric leading the way three laps in here at Indianapolis as we see the rest of the pack come sailing their way through this last corner, trying to make sure no one hits the outside wall as you'll find out shortly why hitting the outside wall is very, very bad. But it's Austin Cindric leading at the Indianapolis Road Course. And now Tyler Reddick is going to lead us here on lap 12. Back to the green after a caution. A couple cars out of this race. Reddick leads away. Oh, we got a car flipping in the back. Oh, my goodness. What just happened? I think that was the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. Just went flipping. Coming, out of the coming to the green here. What in the world? He slams the outside wall and sends his car, f it eats his car and just grabs it like Miles the Monster and sends it flying into the pit wall. William Byron right behind this sees Truex flying through the air. I mean, what a shot. Oh my goodness. What a hellacious crash for the 19 going up and over here at Indy. Slamming the outside wall and it costs him. As he gets a hard, hard crash. You see, there's a little ch change in the wall coming out of turn four. See, it's at even time, boom, he slams that wall, it goes flying hard into the pit wall and just destroys Truex. What a scary crash to start this race. I have trouble ahead. Chastain is around. The one machine has wrecked. He was right behind Truex when this happened. Looks like his engine's completely killed. What happened to the one here? So let's get let's, let's rewind a little bit further. As you see, the 19 is going to go flying right in front of him. We're going to get the onboard view with Ross Chastain here as Truex goes flipping in front of him. And Chastain must have got clipped or something. But then all of a sudden, 
He is just super slow and he's turning back and forth on the racetrack. He gets clipped by Bubba Wallace and spun down the inside of the racetrack. And that's the end of Chastain's run as he is done. So I guess that contact from Truax actually like for some reason blew his Chastain's engine or something. Knocks him out of the race. And then Bubba Wallace just drove into the tire barrier at the end of pit wall. What is happening? Here at the Indy Road Course, the chaos has only just begun. <laughs> We're just beginning stage one. Bubba Wallace just drove himself into the tire barrier at the end of pit wall for no apparent reason after getting involved in that incident with Chastain. I don't know what Bubba's doing, but he just drove himself into the pit wall and took himself out of the race. So he will have to uh, wait. He only has two more chances to make the playoffs at Watkins Glen and at Daytona, which you know is going to be crazy when we get to Daytona. Meanwhile, back at the front of the field continues to be Tyler Reddick leading this race on the lap 36. It's the same thing. Reddick leads away. Oh, Todd Gillen's flying and flipping into the pit road. He flies over the pit wall and into pit road. Todd Gillen and Chris Buescher with a hellacious crash. Right behind the 45 of Tyler Reddick. Oh, my goodness. Gillen did the same thing true. He said he clips that wall outcrop and gets shot out flipping and flying up over the pit wall after contact from the 17 of Chris Busher. Unbelievable turn of events here at the Indianapolis Road Course for the Cup Series. Some absolutely chaotic crashes here that we never thought we'd see, but here, yet here we are seeing Todd Gilland get absolutely murked by the outside wall here and collecting Busher, noting a bang. What a, a weird physics breaking crash there with Todd Gilland who flips onto pit road. Busher's destroyed. Apparently, William Byron's out of the race too. Now we've got to rewind to find out what the heck happened with William Byron. And William Byron, guess what? Same as everyone else so far this race the only incidents have been going up high coming out of the final corner of the racetrack clipping out the wall barrier at the wrong spot and boom byron gets launched out lands on the floor of kevin harvick and then continues to fly up into that inside pit wall harvick's car is going to come to a complete stop. he's destroyed byron slams that inside pit wall and rests on his side as harvick's completely wiped out and what another hard hit into that wall i mean this is the most <laughs> craziest thing since indy rocker says at the Indy Road Course. Yeah, this is crazier than the curb in 2021. This is crazier than the turn one last year. This wall is causing absolute mayhem as Austin Sindrick is about to win stage one here. Coming to take the green and white checkered flags here to get the stage win and the another playoff point added to his total, which will certainly help him out when it comes to playoff time. Austin Sindrick will win stage one at the Indy Road Course, followed by Tyler Reddick in second. Third place, Ryan Priest. Fourth place is going to be Christopher Bell. Uh, sorry, AJ Allmendinger. Denny Hamlin, fifth. Sixth here, you got, you know, Ty Gibbs is up here. Um, you have Brad Keselowski. Got stage points. He came home in seventh. Ty Gibbs was eighth. Brody Kostecki came home ninth. And to, for the last spots between Alex Bowman and Shane Van Gisbergen. And back to the line, Bowman will get the last stage point over SVG here at Indy. As it is Austin Cindric winning stage one at the Indianapolis Road Course. Now on to stage two. It is Ryan Priest. And oh, we got another car flipping and flying in the back. Oh, my God. What is happening? It's Tyler Reddick now. The 45. One of the best cars all day. Clips the barrier and goes flying into the pit wall hard. Just like William Byron. Just like Martin Truex. Just like Todd Gilliland. And so now Tyler Reddick, one of the best cars all day, will be out of the race here in stage two. He is done. He is finished. He will not continue on as Ryan Priest is your leader at this moment in time, by the way. Looking for his second win in the season to back up his win he had at Bristol Dirt for his first career win. He's looking for win number two. As is Ryan Priest leading at the Indianapolis Road Course on the last lap of stage two now. Whereas Ryan Priest looks to sweep the stage, not sweep the stage, looks to bring home the stage two win. And add another playoff point to his total just like Austin Sindrick did in stage one. As coming down the front stretch here for the final time, he's got to make sure he doesn't hit the outside wall and get destroyed, which he does not. And Ryan Priest wins stage two at Indianapolis. Your runner up in the stage will be the 91 of Shane Van Gisbergen. Third will be the 34 of Michael McDowell. Fourth is going to be the 77 of Ty Dillon. Fifth will be Denny Hamlin. Sixth will be the 48 of Bowman. Brody Kostecki comes home seventh in the stage. Eighth place, Brad Keselowski. Ninth place, here comes the three of Austin Dillon to get two stage points, which is going to be huge since you already saw Chris Buescher wreck out of the race with Todd Gilliland in that huge crash off of the wall. If Austin Dillon continues on, he can 
uh, extend that gap. He actually uh, passed Busher for the points thing of 16th of the last winner in. Who's going to be the winner out? Austin Dillon gets 9th in Stage 2. And Daniel Suarez rounds out your top 10 in Stage 2 here at Indy as Ryan Priest, your Stage 2 winner. And now back at it here with just... 15 laps to go in this race. It is Ryan Priest restarting the lead, but look behind him. We got SVG making a move to the inside lane as well. <laughs> Way down low there with Ty Dillon is in the turn one. Here comes Shane Van Gisbergen. He's on the inside of Ryan Priest for the lead. Now he's going to be on the outside lane, which is actually preferred through this portion of the course. And Shane Van Gisbergen is going to take the lead. SVG to the lead here at Indy as Priest goes wide. And now under fire from Ty Dillon and Brody Kostecki, who is running in the top five. So look at this. Two Australian supercar drivers running inside the top five here at the Indianapolis road course. SVG in the lead. Brody Kostecki now fighting for third as Ryan Priest is going to power down and claim that second spot. And it looks like he'll fall down to fourth place behind Ty Dillon who's having another insane top five run for that 77 team in Spire Motorsports. But it's SVG leading the way here in Indianapolis trying to recreate that real life magic like he did winning the Chicago Street Course in his NASCAR Cup Series debut. Here in 2003 it was not the same though. He, struck, he did lead one lap at that race but he struggled and Finished outside the top 10. The SVG now leading, looking to get it done here to Indianapolis. He leads over Priest. Behind him, everyone else battling hard for position. You see, got a whole pack here. Then a gap way back to 10th place. But back to 9th and 10th. That's Suarez and Harrison Burton. But SVG leading the way here at Indy. Ryan Priest has been the dominant car of the race so far. Is in second, trying to chase down Shane Van Gisbergen through these final couple of corners of the racetrack. And SVG is going to lead here. Coming to just 12 laps to go in this race. Got to make sure you just hit that barrier on the outside wall. Luckily, he does not. Make sure no one does here. So we don't have another crazy flip into the pit wall like we've seen countless times. Like Chase Briscoe nearly did right there. Luckily, he safely avoids it. But as SVG leading at the Indianapolis road course with just 12 laps to go. And now it's a restart with only... Eight laps to go. It is Ryan Priest back in the lead. He's gotten around SVG. Denny Hamlin and Ty Dillon now going for the lead. Here we go three wide into turn one. Priest blocks it on and Denny Hamlin. Ty Dillon, though, that preferred outside lane gets to run through the corner. That's how SVG got the lead earlier. Ty Dillon on the inside of Ryan Priest. And Ty Dillon will take the lead here in Indianapolis over Ryan Priest, Denny Hamlin, and Brody Kostecki. SVG is back there fighting for fifth with the three machine of Austin Dillon. But Ty Dillon leading, can he pull off the huge upset and find Spire Motorsports in the victory lane before LaJoy does? But it is Ty Dillon leading over Ryan Priest, but you gotta think Priest is gonna track him down here and possibly pass him. But Ty Dillon leads at the Indianapolis Road Course with just eight laps to go over Ryan Priest. And now we move on to two go now taking the white flag. Final after I could have bank here at Indy. We are on board with the 41 of Ryan Priest. He's on the inside of the 77 Ty Dillon for the race lead here heading to turn one. Here comes Priest looking to take it from the 77 Ty Dillon. He's to the inside. He's going to make the pass. He's going to the outside lane. How Ty Dillon passed him on the restart. And Priest will clear Ty Dillon and Ryan Priest will take the lead on the last lap here at Indy looking for his second win of the season and of his career. Now we ride on board the 77 and on the 11 Denny Hamlin looks to pass the 77 Ty Dillon on the outside lane. Through the deadly curb corners. Hamlin goes through it, makes it fine, but gets a little slow and exited the corner. That's going to allow Ty Dillon to get momentum, and Ty Dillon going to clear the 11 for second place here on the racetrack. Behind them, you have Brody Kostecki in fourth and Shane Van Gisbergen in fifth. As they are looking to have some very, very strong runs for the uh, Pacific drivers from Oceania. But right now, it is Ryan Priest leading, looking to get his second career win and his second win of 2023 here for Stuart Haas Racing and that Sony ES Ford Mustang as Ryan Priest makes his way through the final few corners of this racetrack. He's about to find himself kissing the bricks last season. It was Daniel Suarez, your eventual champion, may I add, winning here at the Indianapolis Road Course in NR2003. And that was his first career win and sent him on the path to go win the title. Now Ryan Priest here is going to get his second win of the season. It was been an absolutely chaotic race. As through the final corner, Ryan Priest wins at the Brickyard. Your runner-up is going to be Ty Dillon, a career best finish. Third place, the 11 and Denny Hamlin. Fourth place, Brody Kostecki. What a debut. And fifth place, going to be Shane Van Gisberg. And then, oh, there's Austin Dillon off the barrier. A huge hit off the wall, and he chokes away a finish. And now Suarez will come home sixth. Keselowski seventh. Bowman will come home in eighth place. And now 
to find ninth place, you got to go a ways back to the 21 of Harrison Burton. In 10th place is Austin Sindrick, who is one lap down right in front of the 21. As they are on the final few corners, Austin Dillon is still barely creeping down the front stretch with huge damage. I don't think he can make it all the way to the line. I think he's done, but he hit the outside wall and he's done. And indeed, Austin Dillon will DNF and he will choke away a top 10 finish in valuable points. But Harrison Burton will come home 9th. Austin Sindrick comes home 10th and Harrison Burton ends up 9th as it is Ryan Priest getting a second win of the season here at the Indianapolis Road Course and putting himself on the map, officially locked into the playoffs with two wins now. And as one of the top contenders here when we get to the playoffs in just three weeks. Of course, we have next week is Watkins Glen. Two weeks from now, we're going to have Daytona, the regular season finale, and then the playoffs begin at the Southern 500 in Darlington, which we all know is probably going to be crazy. You see the race results on the side of your screen and the extremely long list of DNS only having a final finishing total of 15 cars. Right, they have their playoff grid. Of course, Ryan Priest slots in third on the playoff grid now, locked in with two wins. So, so far, we have seven multi time winners. Then, all the guys who are not locked in yet, of course, Cinder, Hamlin, Trix, Bowman, Kyle Bush, Jesse, and Ty Gibbs. I think they're pretty safe right now. Justin Haley says plus 45 above Chris Busher, who is now out compared to Austin Dillon, who now sits nine points above the cut line for the winners. So, Austin Dillon's plus nine, Chris Busher out by nine, and Haley up by 45. So, until the next episode, we'll have racing from Watkins Glen. I hope you all have a good one.